Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study chapter 5 getting started with Python MCQ questions. Let us begin with question number 1. What is a program in computer science? Option A, a set of machine language instructions. B, a collection of hardware components. C, an ordered set of instructions to be executed by a computer. D, a high level language. Here, option C, an ordered set of instructions to be executed by a computer is the right answer question number two which language is called machine language option a python b c plus plus c assembly d zeros and ones here option d zeros and ones is the right answer question number three what is source code option a machine language code b high level language code c assembly language code d hardware description here option b high level language code is called source code question number 4 which of the following uses an interpreter option a c++ b assembly c python d machine language here option c python uses interpreter hence option c python is the right answer question number 5 which quote is attributed to donald nuth in the textbook option a Programming is fun. B. Computer programming is an art. C. Machines are powerful. D. High level languages are easy. Here, option B. Computer programming is an art is the right answer. Question number 6. Which of the following is not a feature of Python? Option A. High level language. B. Case sensitive. C. Platform dependent. D. Rich library of predefined functions. Here, option C. Platform independent is the right answer. Question number 7. What is the symbol for the Python prompt in interactive mode? Option A. Dollar. B. Percentage. C. Ampersand. D. Three times greater than symbol. Here, option D. Three times greater than symbol indicates the Python prompt uh, in an interactive mode. Question number 8. What is the extension of Python source code files? Option A. Dot Java. B. Dot PY. C. Dot EXE. D. Dot TXT. Here, option B. Dot PY is the extension of Python source code file. Question number 9. Which mode in Python allows the execution of individual statements instantaneously? Option A. Script mode. B. Interactive mode. C. Batch mode. D. Compiled mode. Here, option B, interactive mode is the right answer. Question number 10, which of the following is a Python keyword? Option A, print. B, import. C, function. D, main. Here, option B, import is the keyword. Question 11, which of the following is a valid identifier in Python? Option A, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. B, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. C, A, exclamation mark, B, C, D, none of these. So, we have to follow all the rules for declaring identifier in Python. It must begin with alphabet or underscore. It should not have any special symbols and it should not have any keyword. You can observe here in option A, we have begin with 1, 2, 3, hence it is invalid. Here, A, exclamation mark, that is special symbol is not allowed, hence C is also invalid. And here you can see option B, it is it has begun with A, B, C, that is alphabet and then you can write numbers and it consisting of no special characters and it is not a keyword. Hence option B, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 is a valid identifier in a Python. Question number 12, what is a variable in Python? Option A, a reserved word. B, a function. C, an object uniquely identified by a name. D, a type of operator. Here option C. An object uniquely identified by a name is the right answer. Question number 13. Which symbol is used for comments in Python? Option A. Double forward slash B. Hash. C. At the rate. D. Ampersand. Here option B. Hash is the right answer. Question number 14. In Python, everything is treated as an. Option A. Variable. B function c object d keyword here 
ऑप्शन सी ऑब्जेक्ट इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 विच फंक्शन रिटर्न्स द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन पाइथन ऑप्शन ए आईडी बी आइडेंटिटी सी ऑब्जेक्ट अंडरस्कोर आईडी डी गेट अंडरस्कोर आईडी हियर द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए आईडी सो दिस रिटर्न्स द एड्रेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन पाइथन क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 What are the two execution modes in Python? Option A, compiled and interpreted. B, interactive and script. C, synchronous and asynchronous. D, batch and real time. Here there are two modes of execution of program in Python. That is interactive and script mode. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number seventeen. Which of the following is not a feature of Python? Option A, free and open source. B, case sensitive. C platform independent. D requires a compiler. Here Python is an interpreted programming language. Here option D requires a compiler is the right answer because Python do not use compiler to execute the program because it is interpreted programming language. Question number eighteen. Which of the following is not a keyword in Python? Option A while. B assert. C print. D pass. here option c print is the right answer because print is a function so hence it is not a keyword question number 19 what is the output of the following python code print hello world option a hello world b hello world in a double quotation mark c print hello world d syntax error here option a hello world is the right answer so whatever you put in a double quotation mark under the print it is going to print as it is onto the console question number 20 which of the following statements is true about python option a python is a low level language b python is case sensitive c python cannot be used for web development d python uses a compiler for execution here option b python is case sensitive is the right answer question number 21 what is the correct syntax for a single line comment in python option a double forward slash this is a comment b forward slash asterisk symbol this is a comment asterisk symbol forward slash c hash this is a comment d in a angular bracket this is a comment here option c this is a comment is the right answer Question number twenty-two: Which of the following is not a Python data type? Option A: Integer. B: String. C: Boolean. D: Character. Here, option D: Character is not a data type in a Python. Question number twenty-three: How do you create a variable in Python? Option A: Using the var keyword. B: By simply assigning a value to it. C: Using the let keyword. d by declaring it first here option b by simply assigning a value to it is the right answer question number 24 which of the following is used for indentation in python option a curly braces b parentheses c tabs or spaces d semicolons here option c is the right answer that is tabs and spaces will be given for the indentation Question number twenty-five. What will be the output of the following code? Print two plus three into four. Here they have given option A twenty, B fourteen, C twenty-four, D twelve. Here you can observe as per basic mathematical rule. First, uh, we have to evaluate the expression which consisting of higher priority operator. Then we have to perform operation of lower priority expression. as per bracket of division multiplication and addition rule so we have to multiply first 3 fours are 12 12 plus 2 it will become 14 here option b 14 is the right answer question number 26 which python function is used to get input from the user option a input b read c scan f d get input here option a input is the right answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन वॉट डज द फॉलोइंग पाइथन कोड डू नेम इज इक्वल टू इनपुट एंटर युअर नेम ऑप्शन ए प्रिंट्स एंटर युअर नेम बी असाइंस द स्ट्रिंग एंटर युअर नेम टू द वेरिएबल नेम सी प्रॉम्प्ट द यूजर टू एंटर देअर नेम एंड स्टोर सिट इन द वेरिएबल नेम डी जनरेट्स अ सिंटैक्स एरर हियर ऑप्शन सी प्रॉम्प्ट द यूजर टू एंटर देअर नेम एंड स्टोर सिट इन द वेरिएबल कॉल्ड नेम इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन इनवैलिड वेरिएबल नेम इन पाइथन ऑप्शन ए वैर वन बी अंडर स्कोर वैर टी वन वैर टी वैर अंडर स्कोर वन सो एज पर द रूल्स फॉर डिक्लेरिंग वेरिएबल नेम इट मस्ट बिगिन विद ईदर अल्फाबेट और अंडर स्कोर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर इन ऑप्शन ए इट हैज बिगन विद अल्फाबेट एंड ऑप्शन बी इट हैज बिगन विद अंडर स्कोर हेन्स इट इज वैलिड so next you can observe here in option d var underscore 1 that is allowed next you can observe here in c it has begun with the number hence this is an invalid variable name in python hence option c is the right answer question number 29 what is the output of the following code print 10 integer division by 3 so option a 3.3333 so on up to 5 next b 3 c 3.0 d 10 here option a is the right answer question number 30 which of the following is not an arithmetic operator in python option a plus b minus c multiplication d double ampersand so actually d is the right answer because it is one of the logical operators hence it is not an arithmetic operator hence option d is the right answer Question number thirty-one. What is the correct way to create a string in Python? Option A. String s is equal to hello in a double quotation mark. B. S is equal to hello. C. S is equal to hello. D. String s is equal to hello. Here, option B. S is equal to hello in a single pair or in a double quotation mark is allowed. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number thirty-two. Which of the following methods can be used to convert a string to a list in Python? Option A, list. B, split. C, convert. D, str. Here, option B, split is the right answer. Question number thirty-three. Which of the following is not a valid Python data type? Option A, list. B, tuple. C, dictionary. D, array. Here, list, tuple, dictionary are the data types of Python. Here array is not a valid data type. Hence, option D array is the right answer. Question number thirty-four. What is the output of the following code? Print hello, concatenation operator space concatenation operator word. Option A hello word. Option B hello without space word. Option C hello word in a double quotation mark. Option D hello plus word. here option a hello world with space is the right answer question number 35 which operator is used for exponentiation in python option a caret symbol b double asterisk symbol c exponent function d power function here option b double asterisk symbol represent exponent question number 36 which of the following is a mutable data type in python option a string b tuple c list d integer here the right answer is option c list is mutable type of data question number 37 what is the output of the following code print two double asterisk symbol 3 so here it is always represented as 2 to the power 3 so 2 to the power 3 can be written as 2 into 2 Into two, so it has to be multiplied thrice. Two twos are four, four twos are eight. So here option C eight is the right answer. Question number thirty-eight. Which function is used to read input from the user in Python three dot x? Option A input, B raw underscore input, C scan, D read. Here option A input is the right answer. Question number thirty-nine. 
which of the following statements will create a tuple in python option a t is equal to 1 2 3 in a square bracket b t is equal to 1 2 3 in a curly braces c t is equal to 1 2 3 in a round braces d t is equal to 1 2 3 here option c t is equal to 1 2 3 in a braces creates tuple in python question number 40 what is the output of the following code print type square bracket option a class tuple b class list c class set d class dictionary here option b class list is the right answer because here whenever we write a square bracket that represent list type of data question number 41 which of the following operators is used for string concatenation in python option a plus b ampersand c dot d concat here option a plus is the right answer question number 42 what is the correct way to declare a variable in python option a var x is equal to 5 b x colon is equal to 5 c int x is equal to 5 d x is equal to 5 here option d x is equal to 5 is the right answer question number 43 what will be the output of the following code print 10 modular division by 3 so here options are a 1 b 3 c 10 d 0 0.3 here whenever we use 10 modular division by 3 so after division so it is going to return us the remainder here you can observe 3 ones are 3 3 is a 9 so what is the remainder 1 will be the remainder modular division always returns us the remainder here in this case the answer is 1 here option a is the right answer question number 44 which method is used to remove an item from a list in python by its value option a remove b pop c delete d discard here option a remove is the method which is used to remove the item from a list question number 45 what is the output of the following code print 5 is equal to 5 option a true b false c syntax error d 5 so you can observe here we have used relational operator double equal to so 5 is equal to 5 yes it is true hence option a true is the right answer question number 46 which method can be used to convert a list into a tuple in python option a tuple b list underscore two underscore tuple c two underscore tuple d convert here option a tuple is the right answer question number 47 which of the following is used to define a block of code in python option a indentation b curly braces c parenthesis d square brackets here option a indentation is the right answer Question number 48, which function is used to get the type of an object in python? Option A, type, B, is instance, C, id, D, obj, underscore, type. Here, option A, type is the right answer. I hope you understood all of these questions with their answers. If yes, please write down in a comment as yes. And if you want to go through all these questions, once again, the link is given in the description below. Please go through it. Thank you.